Nationally organized labor had condemned President Bola Tinubu's government's anti poor policies, particularly the elimination of subsidies, which had caused immeasurable misery for Nigerians. The Justice Ministry has summoned the leadership of organized labor for contempt of the court for protesting through the National Industrial Court. Mr. Ajara stated that the National Executive Council has continued to allow itself to be used as a vehicle to curtail the domination of democratic precepts and stifle the voices of Nigerian workers by observing the Justice Ministry through the courts. NEC in session resolved to go on total strike across the country. Any day labor leaders are summoned to courts by the government through the NICN to demand the immediate withdrawal of the litigious terrorism by the Federal Ministry of Justice before the end of work Friday the 11th of August, stated Mr. Ajero. The NLC leader added to embark on a nationwide comprehensive strike beginning August 14 if this contemptuous court summons is not withdrawn by whoever initiated it. The NLC president further stated that the union was dedicated to keeping the necessary vigilance in order to hold the government accountable for its assurances and overall governance. Mr. Ajero went on to say that the union's NEC was committed to the August 19 deadline for resolving the concerns surrounding the petrol price increase given the President's and National Assembly's pledges. Federal government had issued a harsh warning through the Justice Ministry on July 26 that the union's planned strike would be considered contempt of the court and offence punishable by imprisonment. On Monday, the ministry retreated that the ruling issued by the National Industrial Court in Abuja on 5th of June had halted not only strikes but any kind of industrial action arranged to oppose the elimination of fuel subsidies. Following the labor union protest on Wednesday, the Justice Ministry sought the Industrial Court to file a contempt suit against the union leaders. The government served the first and two stages of the contempt suit a notice of the penalties of disobeying the court order often known as Form 48. The warning was sent to NLC President Aoudou Aruba, Vice President Aoudou Aruba, Adeyanju Adewale and Kabi Rusani, General Secretary Emmanuel Ubaja, TUC President Festus Usifo and Chief Executive Nuhu Toro.